If your oven's bake or broil burner is not working, remove any covers or shields and observe whether or not the burner's igniter is glowing. If the igniter is glowing, but the burner has not been lit after 90 seconds, there is a high probability that the igniter has weakened and is unable to draw the proper amps to open the safety valve and light the burner. In this case, the igniter should be replaced. If the igniter is not glowing, you should test the part for continuity. A continuity test will determine if a continuous electrical path is present in the igniter. If there is no continuity, the electrical path is broken and the igniter is defective. Igniters come in many shapes and sizes, but all of them can be tested for continuity in the same way. You can choose from a variety of multimeters to perform the test. For this demonstration, we will use both analog and digital models. When using an analog model, first rotate the range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Then calibrate the meter by pinching the probes together while adjusting the needle to read zero. When using a digital model, again rotate the dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance or resistance with tone if your meter has this option. Before you begin, make sure the igniter has been removed or isolated from the appliance. Now, use a probe to touch one of the igniter's terminals and the second probe to touch the other terminal. If the meter reading shows a result between 0 and 1100 ohms of resistance, the igniter has continuity and may not be the cause of the heating problem. However, if the meter's needle does not move or the digital display does not change significantly, there is no continuity, which means the igniter has burned out and will need to be replaced.